Hey everybody, good to see you again. Sorry I can't be with you today, but I'm doing some really cool things up in Toronto and I look forward to telling you about it when I come back tomorrow. By now you've already listened to a couple of your classmates read the next couple chapters in the Julian chapter, and I hope you're finding it as interesting as I do. I'm looking forward to reading more with you tomorrow and finding out what you thought of today's text. Up next, you're going to be working with your partner to read through a couple more short stories and picture books. Now, if you read a picture book yesterday, I'd like you to move on to a short story. And if you read a short story yesterday, I would like you to move on to a picture book. I would like you to try and get a picture book and a short story done today. Remember, as you're reading, you're trying to find the, the deeper meanings in the text. What is it that the author really wants you to get out of the story? What does the author want you to learn? What does the author want you to think about? We talked about a book as both a mirror that reflects into our own lives and also a window that lets us see into other lives and other situations. So remember some of the questions that we ask ourselves as we read to help us get to the big issue in the book. We ask ourselves, what is the book making you think about? What are the issues that the author is really dealing with? What are you learning as you read this? What lenses have you noticed? Remember, up on the wall, there's all those, that big list of lenses. And those lenses aren't the answers, but they're ways to get you looking carefully at your story to try and figure out what the author is trying to say. Some of the other questions we have, uh, what have you noticed your character learning? Is your character learning any lessons? Has your character overcome obstacles? And has your character changed over the course of those stories? As you look for those things, that will point you to what the author is trying to get at, what the author is trying to communicate to you. Now, the questions that I just, just read off are now in your shared stories folder. It's the only document that, a Word Drive document in there. And you can go back and look at those questions anytime to help guide you through this process. And what I'm hoping starts to happen as you read three, four books and stories, you start to notice that there's some, some similar themes amongst them, just like there was between Aquila and the Bee and the picture book that you read with your group last time. You hopefully will notice that some of these stories have some things in common and that the author might be trying to communicate or could communicate some of the same things through different books and stories. Have a good time, work hard, do your best work today, and I look forward to getting back with you tomorrow. Take care.